Rogue planets are mysterious cosmic objects with masses comparable to that of our solar system's planets, but which do not orbit a star, and instead roam the galaxy freely on their own. Not many were known until now, but a team of astronomers has discovered dozens of new rogue planets, roughly doubling the known number of these mysterious free-roaming worlds. A team of astronomers has identified at least 70 new rogue planets in the Milky Way, in a patch of space around 420 light-years from Earth, using data from several European Southern Observatory telescopes and other facilities. This is the largest collection of rogue planets ever discovered roaming the Milky Way, a significant step toward understanding the origins and characteristics of these mysterious galactic nomads. The first author of the study, Nuria Meret Roig, said they didn't know how many to expect and are thrilled to have found so many. Most exoplanets are discovered using observations of their home stars. Astronomers observe small stellar motions generated by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet or tiny brightness dips caused when a world transits its parent star's face. But such strategies cannot work for rogue planets, making them far more difficult to locate. Astronomers have traditionally relied on gravitational microlensing, a technique that involves watching foreground objects move in front of background stars. During such passages, the foreground body can function as a gravitational lens, bending the light from the distant star in ways that can disclose the mass of the closer object and other features. However, Mirette Roig and her team did not do so. They took advantage of the fact that these planets are still hot enough to glow a few million years after formation, making them directly detectable by sensitive cameras on large telescopes. They discovered at least 70 new rogue planets with masses equal to Jupiter's in a star-forming zone near our Sun, in the upper Scorpius and Ophiuchus constellations. The team analyzed data from several ground-based and space-based telescopes spanning around 20 years to find so many rogue planets. In a vast area in the sky, they measured the small movements, the colors, and luminosities of tens of millions of sources. This data allowed them to confidently identify the faintest objects in this region, the rogue planets. The researchers analyzed data from the Very Large Telescope, VLT, the Visible and Infrared Survey Telescope for Astronomy, VISTA, the VLT Survey Telescope, VST, and the MPG ESO 2.2 meter telescope in Chile, among other facilities. Most of their data come from ESO observatories, which were critical for this study. Their success was due to their wide field of view and eccentric sensitivity. They used tens of thousands of wide field images from ESO facilities, corresponding to hundreds of hours of observations and literally tens of terabytes of data. The researchers also use data from the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite, which is a tremendous step forward in studying and comprehending our universe by combining ground and space-based telescopes. According to the findings, there could be a lot more of these mysterious, starless planets out there that we have yet to uncover. Several billions of these free-floating giant planets could be roaming freely in the Milky Way without a host star. The latest results bolster the idea that rogue planets are abundant in the Milky Way galaxy, maybe outnumbering normal worlds orbiting parent stars. By analyzing the newly discovered rogue planets, astronomers may learn more about how these mysterious objects form. Some scientists believe rogue planets may form due to the collapse of a gas cloud that is too small to lead to the birth of a star, or they may have been kicked out of their parent system However, it is unclear which mechanism is more credible. Further technological advancements will be key to uncovering the mystery of these roaming planets. The team hopes to continue studying them in more depth with ESO's upcoming Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, which is currently under construction in Chile's Atacama Desert and set to begin observations later this decade. 
because these objects are so faint, there isn't much that can be done to study them with the current technology. The ELT will be crucial in acquiring more information about most of the rogue planets that the astronomers discovered. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.